Hello guys, Sunrise here, and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to import replays. You know, now I'll give you a situation. You're over at a friend's house and you're playing on his phone, or uh, you have some internet issues and you submit a play offline instead of online. So that score is saved there locally. And there is a way to actually import replays. Now, I'll show you an example with this map right here. So a friend of mine, well, I asked him to uh, export me the replay, which is actually really easy to do. Let me, like, show you. Let me just find the replay. Yeah, here from uh, Painters. If you hold on the local score, you'll get this export score. When you click export score, you basically export the score. <laughs> <laughs> and when you go into the files in the Osadroid folder, give me a second, because, yeah, there should be a folder that's called the export. In there, you'll find a different shit you've exported that, well, you can then send to your friend. So this is the one we exported, like, a second ago. You can even see the date that it was exported on the file itself. It's an EDR file. And now, uh, I don't need this right now, I'm not going to show you with that. So, uh, we're going to import a replay that a friend of mine uh, sent me. I asked him to send me, and he so kindly did. So, uh, let me go get it real quick. There it is. So now, how to import replays. First, you need the .edr file that, you know, your friend or you export it yourself and then you need to, like, uh, send it on the device you want to import it in. Once you download the, the .edr file, you're gonna need uh, an app that's called Replay Importer or also Droid Replay as it's called here, but, uh, yeah. You need a Replay Importing app. Now, where do you get this? You can just find it in the international Discord server, uh, in the Osadroid international Discord server. You just need to search in Replay Importer. I'm also going to put a link in the description so you guys don't have to, like, uh, go around and scroll through this stuff and etc. Osadroid Replay Importer. Uh, I can talk. Yeah, here it is. Here's the, IP, uh, the APK. I'll probably just upload it somewhere on Google Drive and then I'll just get it, um, get the link and I'll put it in, this, in the description. So now, how does this work? First of all, uh, let me show you the app. This is the Osadroid Replay Importing app. I know it looks kind of uh, complex and uh, not that... Um, easy to understand, but most of the stuff here really doesn't work. You see there's stuff, uh, there's your replays that you've set scores on, but this this is not important, and these things don't work either, so yeah, app is just pretty much a tool to import replays and nothing much, really. No buttons work, no other things, no settings. So, how do you import the replay? There's a plus button down here, and now here it gets a bit more complicated. So in here you need to input the directory of the .edr file so you can actually extract it. And now, now I'll do this, uh, I'll try to explain it really simply. So uh, how do you get the directory of the file? Well, uh, I have discovered myself an easy way to actually get the directory. So uh, first of all, you want to go into the also droid and go in the options, advanced options, and there is main directory over here. Now, you want to click that and just, well, copy paste this. Now, try not to change anything because if you do, it's uh, gonna do something that is not, um, not, that's not good. Once you've got the main directory, you go back into the files and now uh, you've copied the main directory to this folder by itself. In here, you can create a folder uh, with the name uh, replay. <laughs> yeah, you can just make a folder. You can also skip the uh, skip the folder making. It's not really 
necessary, but I'll just do it so it's, you know, simple to uh, explain. So now after you go into the replay, uh, into the Osteodroid folder, you put the replay file in here. And now you want to copy the name uh, by just re simply renaming it. You just want to select the whole thing and then copy the name of it because you're going to need that or else the, the app won't recognize the replay. And now when you go into the replay importer app, now I'm going to show you that I don't have any replays on this map set. Let me just quickly go ahead. Uh, how to get copyrighted, 90%. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I don't have any replays. The score, uh, the score of my friend itself is over here on the leaderboard, but I don't really need that. M my point of this video is to explain how to import the replay, not how to view it. So yeah, how to do it. Now, uh, as I said, this gets a little bit more tricky. And now if you have a clipboard like I do, you can just go in here and here's the main directory that you copied from Osudroid's advanced settings. Now you see every slash is um, represents entering the next directory. So you go slash storage, which is the internal storage slash emulated, which I don't know anything about these things slash zero slash also droid which is uh, the also droid folder and in there is your uh, replay folder so you want to put replay and then put another slash and then you want to paste the name of the replay after that simply click this button and if it says uh, uh, some Chinese symbols down there and rep your replay should be successfully imported and the next time you go in on also droid and look for the map to us. the replay should be imported and should be visible and watchable and etc and you can do whatever you want with it god why do i have to have so many maps i don't want to get uh, copyrighted by stuff but um yeah just uh stuff as you can see now the replay pops up in here and you can actually go and watch it and it fully works. And this is not that hard actually once you get it, uh, once you get the whole thing. It doesn't really take that much effort. It's just that uh, it's a bit complicated for um, people that don't really understand how it works. So yeah, my name has been Sunrise. And I hope I helped you with this tutorial. I'll be doing some more tutorials in the future. I'll also be uh, fixing the older tutorials I have done. So see you then. And thanks for watching guys.